This is the story of the well breakdown of 2020. So far this year, this went out actually twice and this was replaced, but this last one was a whole lot bigger. So what happened was we noticed we were getting a little bit lower pressure in the house and Natalie, Natalie was taking a shower and she said that the hot water heater must be all crusted up because she's not getting any pressure. So we cleaned the on-demand hot water heater and that did nothing. In fact, it was getting worse. So we came up here and checked the pressure gauge and it was down to oh, about 27, 28. And it should be right about 60. It was at 60 yesterday, but a little lower today. So we figured maybe this went out again and we called the same guy who replaced this. And he came and took a look and said it was blowing air which means that there's holes in the line. And he said it would cost about 5,500 to fix. And he was busy way out. He couldn't do it for a month or so. I'm not sure how long it was. So we called the place that actually put this in and they came out the next day. And you'll see video of that. When they pull the pipes out, the pipes are each 20 feet long and Eight of them needed replacing. I believe that's what it was. And eight of them at 20 feet each is 160 feet. That's how deep the pump itself was in the water. This well is 460 feet deep. So it's about 300 feet down to the water. And then the pump itself is 160 feet down below that. Anyway, they pull out the sections one at a time, take it apart, pull out the next one, they pull the pump up that way, and they coil up the wire on a spool, and then they laid the pipes out here, and I believe it was eight of them were just rusty as hell. Those were the ones that were underwater. The ones that were above the water were just fine, so they replaced the ones that were underwater with schedule 120 pvc and you'll see that in the video as well it had stainless steel ends i videotaped sporadically but we had these weird rainstorms the entire day we had them for two days actually um on the radar it was just like spots all over the place it was the size of a state of a storm with just little spots everywhere and each one of them had like yellow in the middle. So it was raining really hard, then stopped. Raining really hard, then stopped. So it was really hard to film. And it was really hard for them guys because they kept having to go back into their truck and wait for it to stop raining. But anyways, it's fixed now. And we're 24 hours into a 48 hour wait. I'm, I think I have it on video, but they dump a bunch of pellets down. They're yay big, about the size of a marble and those are chlorine. So this is heavy duty shocked right now and we have to wait 48 hours and then run it for like six hours. We gotta go to the very bottom spigot which is on the new neighbor's property and open that up for six hours. All right, I'm gonna let you watch the video of them working on this. That one. some of the dirt off of it. And because that would go into the pump. Well, that and I just don't want to call it. Good. It's on there from storage at the warehouse. Thank you. 
below the well, you should have no problem getting pregnant. Well, everyone is down. We're the first person on the line. Oh, are you? None of yeah. these guys are? Right, yeah, it's, everyone's down that way. Okay, so maybe you don't have to pass, but you guys should have all right pressure because you're below the well. Yeah. But only 40 pounds in there, huh? Yeah, but, you know, we only started checking the pounds really this year. Do you guys have any filters in your house? Inline filters? Have, we have a, like an inline filter. Okay. I know uh, 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 the, the other people have um, reverse house. Our old machines? Yeah. You guys got bad water? No. Yeah. why they have our Maybe old Maybe they just have the water softener. Softener, I can yeah. see that. Yeah, that's it. No, we like our water hard. <laughs> yeah, you see all that red stuff? That's iron. It's hard water. Yeah. <laughs> there ain't a well around here that don't have it. Yeah. It's just common in the wells. Yeah, well, we've definitely had some headaches here the last day or so. Well, you aren't going to drink this water for 24 hours, I'll tell you that. And all that, wash your hands, but no laundry, no dishes. I would really prefer no showers. Wow. For all heavy water use. At least for, 24 for hours. For how long? 24 hours? Yes. Well, how many people are here? Full time is two families. Yeah. So how many people is that? Three and uh, two adults and two littles. So five, seven people. Yeah. It's mostly girls, so they use a lot of water. Well, yeah, and we have an on-demand, so we have a teenager, and she takes 40-minute showers. But luckily, I took her somewhere else to get clean today. <laughs> Yeah, I would prefer no showers. That's pretty cool. So it keeps it centered down in the... Because of the, we're going to plastic now, that whip I was talking about, yeah. this helps protect against that. Well, that's pretty cool. Keeps it more, like you said, centered real well. Yep. With our case. So it doesn't get beat up this time. You got all that word? the tape 
even the, the rubber on the wire held up just fine. Mm -hmm. And then steel that we think is strong, or at least I did. <laughs> did that was also stainless steel. You see those couplings? Uh -huh. Those are stainless steel. That's the harder form of steel you can get. And we have that for drop pipe too. Oh yeah? But when would you <laughs> use that? Well, if, if you guys didn't want to have plastic down your well, and uh, we don't trust the like galvanizing. Like we thought plastic was going to give us And we would have went with itch, yeah. Okay. Some people don't like plastic for their own reasons. Uh -huh. We would recommend stainless steel instead of replacing it back with galvanized. Because the galvanized now is worse than that stuff. Even American oh, yeah. made, foreign, it don't matter. Oh, you, really? get, you get 10 years, you're doing good. Oh, wow. So we prefer to go to stainless steel. Looks like these fittings are all stainless now. Uh huh. Because it's a harder form of steel. It's supposed to last longer. Well, yeah. And how much more is stainless? Probably like eight, ten times as much. Uh, that I don't know. I don't do the pricing. I know it's probably at least three times the price. Yeah. Steel stuff too. The coupling. Yeah, that's a, a adapter that's going from one size to another. He's going from that size pipe to this size pipe. Oh. And then, yeah, these are all just couplers. That's a uh, adapter. Reducer? Yeah, a reducer. Yeah, that's just a reducer, and this is a check valve. I keep looking on my radar, and there's nothing but just little plops everywhere. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like, yeah, great. you can see them. Yeah, Hopefully they're not very big. Stay over there. happen if you uh, actually drop one in there? You go fishing. Yeah. <laughs> you cry? You cry first? Not me. <laughs> we have never dropped one. Oh, we, have, we have fished out seven of them. Oh, really? For other companies. Like they gave up? I said sorry. No. Sorry, drill new wells. Oh my words. gosh. So that's basically what you got to do. Oh. Uh. So yeah, we've fished out Seven For seven different companies or all the same guy? <laughs> a couple of them were the same guy. Oh, no. <laughs> but it's no one we know, is it? <laughs> no, he was farther south. <laughs> down by uh, Hayes Mills. Oh, wow. Yeah, that four days That would just be horrible. And they're all, they were all ridge wells. Four days oh, yeah. we would sit there, up right. and down the well, up and down, trying to get it off. Oh my Not them all. Thank God. What, what do you use, a magnet or? or? First thing you go after is the wire. Oh yeah. My, my dad made some tools to basically oh, got a shoe. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna fall. So you can't made get a, cut a front shock out and made it so we could kind of scor corkscrew on the wire to get us a, a oh. snare. So they don't sell that tool at a Home Depot? No, they don't make that. <laughs> nope, not that one. Well pipe fishing tool? Nope. DeWalt? Nope, you get to make that stuff yourself. That or I'm sure maybe some place does, we just haven't heard of it. Instead of going around, fucking that ball right there.
six centimeters or one twenty what? That's just uh, uh, basically the strength of a plastic. Yeah, that's no, not the thickness, but the strength. It has something to do with the thickness. Yes. The different schedules are different thicknesses and different plastic compounds. They, they, they sell forty and eighty at the at the Home Depot. At the Home Depot there. <laughs> I don't know if they sell drop pipe, but they sell like this stuff all comes pre-threaded. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just two guys in there, like just me and my dad. That's why it doesn't take much to get us behind and with you. Right. Check valves are there? Four? There'll be three. Three? The one, that one closer to the bottom, one about halfway, and then the one on the very top. And those help water, of course, going backwards, but they also help when the pump starts, it doesn't have to lift all wow. the weight at once. It can lift it in stages. Great. So it's supposed to be better for the pump. Oh, okay.
<laughs> liquid